Uh, what's something that you had to do to get to this point in your career that no one knows? Something that I had to do to get to this, career, this point of my career. Um, really study the, um, the game and the production about stuff, how instruments supposed to sound on top of instruments and all that, different 808s and all that, to match everything, everything got to be on key. That's some of the stuff I learned. Did you study anyone in particular? Um, I studied like Drama Boy, um, Zaytoven, fucking um, Pharrell, Timbaland, all of them, I studied everybody how they was doing their thing. Trying to, you know, take stuff from them, put it into my new, my stuff. Okay. Um, when do you think a producer should leak a record? When? As far as like, it's, hmm, that's a crazy question. To leak it? <clears throat> when everybody, when you know it's the record and everybody don't think it's the record. That's when you leak it. Okay. Um, did you ever lease beats online before you started? Of course. I most definitely lease beats online. <laughs> you got to $25 here, you know, $19 or something like that, $20 or something. Yeah. So for other producers that are leasing cheap beats, how do they go from there to where you are now? Um, I just got to keep grinding. Hopefully, and matter of fact, just go find out, you know, a neighborhood friend that's rapping. You know, and build him up, or your brother or something. Just build him up and just, you know, produce everything he got. Whatever he rap on, just produce everything. That's what I did with Keith. Just produce everything. Is there anything about Keith you can tell us that people would be surprised to know? Yeah. Well, Keith should be. No, not really. What you see is what you get? Yeah. Okay, fair What you see is what you get. That's Keith. Is there any one artist in particular that you know you got heat for right now and they just have not heard it? For real? He hasn't heard it, man. He got to come fuck with me one time, man. He got to come over here, you know. I got it for him, man. Yeah. But now, other than that, um, Jay-Z. Jay-Z, I got some shit for him. What do you think you could do as a producer for Jay-Z that he hasn't encountered before? Shit, he damn never did everything. For real, that music genre did the hood shit. He did the, you know, 90 sound and shit. He did all that shit. But I don't know. Whatever we just come up with in the studio. Mm. Do you prefer to collaborate in the studio versus sending music off? Collab. Because I got to fill you out, see what you want. You feel me? I don't know what you want if I'm behind a computer and text message. I don't know what you want. I might send you some whole left field stuff. I, mean, I don't even make the album. That's why I hate sending beats. Some of the time it works, but some of the time it don't.